It's the luscious days of late June. The summer solstice is near and hugging the towpaths, caressing the country lanes and nestled in hedgerows everywhere are sweet snow clouds of summer. Join us this week as we share how we bottle these halcyon days with our own elderflower sweet treats and putting our homemade cordial to the ultimate taste test against the shop board. Can you confirm that you can't see anything? <laughs> I confirm. For those who seek to live deliberately, tap subscribe and welcome to this tiny life. It is possibly the most beautiful day of the year so far. It's sunny, it's warm, we've got blue skies, the canal's been really busy with boats tootling past. And I just wish we could do smell vision because the scent from the elderflower is so strong. It's that lovely, sweet, juicy fragrance. We need to pick about 40 to 50 heads today for all the stuff that we're gonna be making. So I've made a bit of a start, but there's plenty more to go. Are you gonna help pick the elderflower? I'm gonna scratch first. just the most gorgeous day. It's just perfect being out by the canal, it's so lush. Um, in case you're not sure what you're looking for when it comes to elderflower, it's a super easy plant to identify. You just gotta make sure you're picking um, flowers that are coming from a tree and not from like a, a flower stem that's coming up from the ground. It's gotta be coming off of a, a tree like this. And the big giveaway you got elderflower is first the smell, it'll have that really beautiful, juicy, sweet scent and you've got leaves that look like this. They always come in little sets of five with four of them growing opposite each other and then that one coming out from the top. And if you've got that matched with the beautiful sweet smell, then you can be pretty sure you've got the right plant. What is on your hair? Hmm? <laughs> what is on my hair? You've got like half an elderflower tree. Does that... <laughs> no, I do. It's because I was trying to get one that was really good above me and it um, caused a somewhat elderflower shower. It's nice. It's part of the vibe. I want that one now, so the same thing's going to happen again. Why is it always this you one. want the ones which you can't reach? This one, this is the one. Wow. What? <laughs> You're covered. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. I look radiant. I'm worth it. There is all sorts of folklore surrounding the elder tree, which is something that I am not an expert on at all. But I was reading that you're meant to thank the elder spirits and mother elder if you do come and pick from the elder bush. Um, but something which I think is really cool, you can see here, the center of the elder is, well, it's this really soft membrane that if you leave it, it, it hollows out. This plant was so important for like ancient people's survival because you create like these really long straws from, you know, the branches. And so when they needed to light a fire, they would use those straws to blow down and it would get the fire roaring really, really quickly, rather than to get on the, like, your hands and knees and, you know, start blowing it and get a load of smoke in your face. So. Yeah, it was a really, really important plant, which I just think, I just think that sort of stuff is so fascinating. There's a lot of ducks over there, which are having a right old bath. They're having like a proper spa day in the canal. Getting home, it's time to make a start on our elderflower cordial. It's important not to wash the elderflower heads, otherwise you'll rinse away the precious flavour-filled pollen. So instead, 
Give each one a once over and allow any insects the chance to scuttle away. Next, place the zest of four lemons and an orange into a large jar and add the flowers from 25 elder heads. Try to avoid getting too many of the green stems in the jar. They are slightly bitter. If a few end up in here, don't panic. Finally, top up with one and a half litres of boiled water and leave to infuse like a strong tea overnight. We'll finish it off in the morning. How's it going? Yeah, I guess he's just had most of a strawberry. Oh my goodness, did he eat it? He sort of sucked it. Oh, and I kind of held it and he's, he's, he's you know. But you had a strawberry. Yeah, he's gummed it. Yeah, <laughs> you nice. gummed your way through a strawberry. Anyway, he keeps grabbing my hand uh -huh. and like, you know, trying to finish it off. So he's had, he's had most of it, haven't you? The oh. first face was like, and That's then after pretty. that, he then got quite into it, so. I mean, good taste. Homegrown yeah. boat strawberry. Homegrown boat strawberry. Right, should we get making the next thing? Huh? Should we get making the next thing? Yeah. You want to come you on? Want to help? I'll get rid of that now. I think that's done. Put your off. Oh. I'm very excited to get started with this because I absolutely love. Turkish delight. Honestly, it's one of my favourite sweets. So um, I think this is one of those recipes. <laughs> That looks really complicated on the surface, but actually when you get making it, it's not too bad at all. But I am experimenting slightly by not just doing elderflower Turkish delight, I'm doing elderflower and lavender flavour Turkish delight. Should be a nice little summery floral yes. festival. Festival of floral <laughs> summery. <laughs> Really what we've made here is a giant tea bag with the elderflower and the lavender all wrapped up in this little package. And this is how we're gonna infuse their flavor into the Turkish delight. So now we've got that ready, um, we're gonna heat 300 mils worth of water in a large saucepan with 700 grams of sugar. I know that sounds like a lot, but this is a sweet treat. Um, plus the juice of two lemons. So we're gonna heat that gently, dissolve all of that sugar, and then bring it up to a temperature of 120 degrees Celsius. Whilst I'm waiting for that to come up to temperature, um, in this smaller pan, I've combined 100 grams worth of corn flour with 100 mils of water um, and just stirred that until it's mixed together. And then um, once this hits 120 C, which we're not too far off, um, I'm gently gonna combine the two together. And when I say gently, like honestly, slow and steady is the way here. And you've got to stir constantly whilst you are doing it. Um, and then we're gonna simmer that for like 10 minutes or so, stirring all of the time. And once we've done that, we can then add our elderflower and lavender tea bag um, and let that simmer for like 20 odd minutes or so. Keep the mixture simmering until it reaches a golden amber color. You're then ready to pour it into a tray lined with lightly oiled baking paper. And don't do what I did, which was to experiment with these silicon ice cube trays. They were all I had to hand and the Turkish Delight did not want to come out of them. Leave it overnight to set and the next day cut into small cubes and dust lightly with corn flour. I'm just going to go with this outside. thing you can do and it is delicious so you need 
a jar, any container will do. Some fresh elderflower, so this is just what I've just picked 10 minutes ago, and some apple cider vinegar. Pop the elderflower heads into the jar, top it up with apple cider vinegar or white wine vinegar, and then leave it for about a week, two weeks, and then you have the most delicious elderflower tinted dressing, and it is gorgeous. Give it a go. Right, next, let's finish off the cordial. I'm really excited because today we're gonna to put our cordial to the test against the supermarket cordial to see if ours is any better. Now, I'm hoping that we win, but who knows? We're gonna do a blind test and we'll see. Really, really simple. The rest of the cordial recipe just means that you need to juice the fruit that we zested yesterday, so four lemons and one orange, and you add that to a pan with the strained um, infusion that we did yesterday of the zest and elderflower heads. So that water, the juice of these fruits, and then you add one kilogram of sugar. Gently heat it up and then simmer it for a few minutes until all of the sugar is fully dissolved. And that is it. You then pour it whilst it's hot into sterilized bottles, pop the lids on them, and voila, cordial. Quite well, actually, didn't it? Beautiful. They look beautiful. Yeah, they've kind of like gone because it's got they've got warm. Because it's, it's a really hot day, so they've kind of like relaxed a little bit. But I did have a couple when I was getting them out, and yeah. Oh well, yeah, find yeah. again. Yeah, give it a go. See what you think. Mmm. That is so elderflowery. Yeah. And lavendery. It's kind of soft and chewy. It's soft and chewy, it's like pillowy. Mm. Such good flavour, really yeah. strong. What a success. How much sugar is in each square? You don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> it is seriously difficult to resist eating all of these. They're so good. Um, but we do have the ultimate battle of the cordials to go. So to make this fair, we're going to do a blind taste test. So, Gabby. I'm gonna yeah. pop this blindfold on you. Right. And then I'll go and get the cordials and okay. we'll see if we can decipher which one's which. Which one's better? That's the one. <laughs> right, sit back. Why is that so <laughs> well? How do you do this? Oh, well, the cordials are there, yeah. go around my eyes and you tie it above my head. Alright, someone's got experience. <laughs> Where do I tie Not it? My nose. Above my hair, above my hair. Oh god, I just don't myself. Can you confirm that you can't see anything? <laughs> I confirm I cannot see anything. <laughs> Did you see that? No, but I felt it. <laughs> She's definitely blindfolded. Yeah. Right, I'll go and get this done. Okay. So this is the plan. We're going to put Gabby's homemade cordial up against this one, which is about £4.20 odd a bottle. Um, and I'm going to try and make sure that everything is kept the same. So I'm going to do two shots of each cordial and then top the glasses up basically to the brim with um, some of this fizzy water. And hopefully that should make it all a fair test. I mean, looks wise, you can definitely tell which is the shop bought versus the homemade. See, this is why we needed the blindfold. But actually smelling it, on the odd news, the um, homemade one, it's got way more of a scent than the, um, than the shop bought. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see which one's better. Let's, um, let's go put it to the taste test. Okay. It's so dark I could just go to sleep. <laughs> Near. Did you hear me? No. Oh, okay, good. Right. No, I said I know you're near. But... Right, here you go. That's really nice. Okay. I, it's quite sweet, so I think that's probably the shop bought one. Mm. That's really lovely though. Okay, so number one, really lovely. <laughs> number two, I'm not saying anything, I'm not going to give away any clues.
Mm. That's a lot nicer. I hope that's fine. <laughs> that has got um, a much richer elderflower taste. Do you want to take your blindfold off and oh, all yeah. shall be revealed? Oh, will I be able to help in colour? I think so, yeah. Yay! <laughs> oh my god, that colour difference is ridiculous. Isn't it? So yeah, homemade, you said instantly, way more flavour oh my than the shop bought, which was lovely but just really sweet. Yeah, really sweet. The shop bought is sugary. Whereas that's actually got elderflower flavour. And like so much more intense. That's great doing it blindfolded. Good to that though. Woo! Can you yeah. imagine if it had come out the other way around? How awkward that would have been. Oh, so make your own elderflower cordial. Oh my gosh, that's great. Should we do the Joe test? See which one Joe goes for first? Uh, oh, it's a shop. He likes a shop ball one. He likes a shop ball. I'm going to have to teach you out that. I've got no idea if we managed to film that or not, but an otter just came out of the reeds opposite over there. I went for a tiny little swim in the canal and then just disappeared back into the bush. It's amazing. That's the second otter that I've seen in the last in the last week. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, I was, they're so special. It's such a privilege to see them. We have one that came up the reeds and just went for a swim past the boat like a couple of nights ago. Yeah. Amazing. Anyway, that's probably it for this week's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you fancy giving any of these elderflower recipes a go, then I will pop them all up on our website and the link for that is down below in the description. And please do let us know if you do give them a try. And if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up and maybe tap the subscribe button because it really, really helps us out. It really helps our channel. And if you fancy buying us a coffee, then that would be very, very kind. The link for how to do that again is down below in the description. But yeah, thank you for watching and um, we'll see you next time. Bye.